Recently, we've been looking at various examples of how reading and writing workshop could be conducted. Today, I will introduce a lesson structure that is used in both readers and writers workshop, called the mini lesson. We'll focus on writing. Like the name suggests, a mini lesson is very short, between five through fifteen minutes long. The teacher often gathers students closely together to convey a tip or strategy. Mini lessons are often planned as a whole group lesson at the beginning of the workshop, but it can be used in a small group or a one-to-one -one setting. After the lessons, students return to their spots to apply the skill independently. The mini lesson has four distinct parts: the connection. Teaching point, active engagement, and the link. The first part of the lesson is the connection. When students are gathered closely, the teacher will introduce the lesson by connecting to something she noticed from the past. Perhaps she noticed something that students need to work on based on their current writing, or perhaps she just wants to build on something they've been working on or learning. By making a connection, the teacher helps students understand why this new learning relates to them and is meaningful. Today, you will be watching clips from a writer's workshop mini lesson, and we will identify the parts of the lesson together. In this upcoming video, Miss Thompson introduces how to write dialogue to her kindergartners. She teaches them how to insert speech bubbles into their personal narratives, and how this makes the stories more interesting. Watch as she begins the lesson by connecting to something they've been working on. Last week, I told you this great story about when my sister and I went to World of Fun. And I just showed you this page. But as I was thinking, Amir, as I was thinking this weekend, I thought, well, this page didn't really tell the whole story. It just told a little part of it. So the second part of a mini lesson is the teaching point. The teaching point is an explicit statement about what the teacher will teach. By stating a teaching point, the teacher makes clear what the objective or purpose is. Let's return to the video. Story is talking, and writers use speech bubbles to show which characters are talking. Today, I want to teach you. Today, I want to teach you that writers. Use speech bubbles to show that characters are talking. Real quick, check your body. The third part of a mini lesson is the active engagement. Soon after the teacher models the strategy by applying it in her own writing, she gives the students a moment to apply it themselves. This often takes the form of a turn and talk to a neighbor routine. When students share with a partner, this would be a good time for the teacher to pop in on the conversations to check on what they're talking about. Up down, up down. When we got off the roller coaster, my sister got sick. Yeah. Ew. Cos, cos. Yes, yes. This page doesn't have any speech bubbles, but there's two people. Turn to your neighbor and see if you can come up with an idea of a speech bubble. I can add to make it even better. Turn to your neighbor. Tell me. I am. I have an idea. The last part of a mini lesson is the link. The link brings closure to the lesson, but bridges the strategy to the future. Teachers can explicitly state what they want students to do when they return to their seats, and they should state how the strategy could be applied meaningfully in the future. Today, when you are writing, I want you to go find another piece that you've already finished and look at the people, look at the characters, and think. Could I add a speech bubble to make this more interesting? Thumbs up if you think you could try that. Today, Maya, and every day I want you to look at your writing and think, hmm, I think I could add a speech bubble to make it even more interesting. After the short lesson, students return to their spots to begin writer's workshop. During this time, the teacher may visit with them in a small group or conference with them one-on-one -on -one to make sure strategies from the day's lesson and the days before are being applied. The mini lesson is a standard lesson structure for a balanced literacy model of reading and writing workshop. Just keep these four basic parts in mind when you plan your lessons, so that your teaching will be focused. Before you come to class next period, 
Here's a list of what you need to do. First, respond to this video on the Violog page. Register for an account and then leave any questions or comments about the mini lesson and what you noticed about her classroom management. If you have any questions at all, just state it and we'll address it in the class. Then complete the mini lesson quiz. This is a very short quiz that covers the basic parts of a lesson. You may use this video or outside sources for help. Finally, sign up for a writing skill that you want to teach. In class, we will get started on planning our own lessons to teach in a small group. If you feel like you need more examples of the components of a mini lesson, I've also included a video of an excellent lesson for upper elementary grades. We will go into detail about the mini lesson in class and plan our own lessons. I'll talk to you soon.